a significant crypto dump could occur soon, and FTX could restart. Please like, subscribe, and enable notifications for when we release new content. My name is Alex Johnson. Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan Chase, criticized Bitcoin once more outside of the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Diamond reiterated to the top executive that he doesn't care about Bitcoin in an interview with CNBC by calling it a pet rock and a hyped up hoax. Diamond also questioned Bitcoin's 21 million coin limit. How do you know it will stop at 21 million? The banker questioned. Everyone jokes that when there are 21 million, Satoshi's image will appear and he'll laugh at you all. But this isn't the first time Diamond has attacked Bitcoin. In 2021, the CEO said. I personally believe that Bitcoin is useless. In 2014, he also described Bitcoin as a bad store of value. Although the banker is aware of the importance of the unique technology, he foresaw its collapse a year later. We use the blockchain technology ledger system to move information. We've done overnight an intraday repo, we've used it to move money, and we'll continue to use it for that. That is a ledger, then. We believe that the technology ledger included within will be deployable. However, it is not surprising that the Federal Reserve's parent business, which intends to issue its own digital money, does not favor a currency that is not under their direct control. Jamie Dimon is not necessary for Bitcoin, as Natalie Brunello aptly puts it. Because his clients will demand it and he can profit from it, Jamie Dimon will need Bitcoin. Second, we don't require large banks as allies. Right. We want to use this entire movement to displace powerful institutions. The token created by the defunct FTX cryptocurrency exchange has increased 32%. After taking over, FTX's new CEO John Ray reportedly formed a task team to examine relaunching FTX. Com. Ray stated that all options, including restarting the exchange, were on the table when it came to the future of FTX. Com. A total of 130 businesses belonging to the FTX Group filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in November, and one of them was FTX. Com. Ray apparently thought about resurrecting the exchange as part of its efforts to make users whole. The FTX CEO claimed that he took into account views from stakeholders who perceived the exchange as a successful business. When fried, the former CEO claimed he had been under pressure from the law firm Sullivan and Cromwell and the FTX. Ray was apparently helped by Wang and Ellison and finding some of the company's assets. Ray was appointed as the head of FTX by the U.S. General Counsel. Bank Winfrey no longer has any role at the exchange and cannot speak on its behalf, according to Ray, who made this statement prior to the company declaring bankruptcy. On Twitter yesterday, Sam commented in response to the news, writing, I'm delighted Mr. Ray is finally paying lip service to turning the exchange back on, after months of putting an end to such attempts. I'm still waiting for him to realize that the FTSE US is sovereign and refund the money to the clients. Justin Sun, the founder of Tron and one of the wealthiest people in cryptocurrency, will be announced Thursday as the exchange's leader. It can be said that under Justin Sun's leadership, the exchange has started down a path toward three birth Sun became a member of the Global Advisory Board in October shortly after the Hong Kong-based investment company About Capital became the majority stakeholder of Holby, but it wasn't until later that month that it became official. Although Sun's spokespeople have stated that he is not an owner of the company and he himself has admitted that he has tens of millions of bad BHT tokens, there have been suspicions in the industry that Sun may be a shadow investor behind regarding cash due to the date. Concerns about so-called rat trading were also addressed by the exchange. Rat trading, a type of front-running, occurs when fund managers use personal accounts to buy shares at a discount before selling them at a profit after investments from the funds they manage have increased their value. These fund managers will declare that they have a zero-tolerance policy for rat trading. The Polygon Network is renowned for the numerous strategic alliances that have grown over the course of the crypto winter. The two new services for Matic holders, wallets and custody for native Matic and staking for ERC-20 Matic, are now available thanks to a partnership with Beecho Beecho RO. Previously, consumers could hold the ERC-20 version, but staking was not. 
Now, all of our services are available to our clients. By giving Matic more functionality, according to Chen Fang, Chief Operating Officer at Baiko, we're giving investors a safer way to custody their money and giving platforms the tools they need to develop the future. Cryptocurrency officially declaring Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the Southern District of New York, Leonard Genesis has assets and liabilities in the $1 to $10 billion range. Based on the January 19th, filing. According to early reports, the business was considering declaring bankruptcy if it couldn't raise money to solve its liquidity crisis by January 19th. Press statement Genesis claimed to have held talks with its advisors, creditors, and corporate parent organization Digital Currency Group to determine the best course of action for protecting assets and advancing the business. To deepen these negotiations, Genesis has now started a court-supervised reorganization process. According to the company's Chapter 11 plan, a dual-track procedure pursuing a sale, capital raising, and or equitization process is being considered. engage with reporting the story, the incentives will prevent Cardano from influencing the media's coverage. The founder of Cardano listed a number of reasons why he believed Coindesk was expensive at $200 million, arguing that it would be wiser to invest between $5 and $10 million in order to create a significantly more decentralized business that would outcompete competitors in the coming years. According to Hoskinson, Coindesk is missing a metaverse element and a really strong video side. Although he recognized that the company was working to develop its video offering, Hoskinson claimed Desk might get into a number of partnerships, saying how a cooperation with the crypto analytics firm Messari would be advantageous to both companies. A research on the 2022 cryptocurrency market was just released by Crypto.com. According to the study, the overall number of cryptocurrency owners worldwide climbed by 39% in 2022, 
from 306 million to 425 million owners. Other noteworthy findings included a staggering 263% increase in ETH and a 20% increase in Bitcoin holders, bringing the total to 219 million. 24 million to 87 million owners The research cites the merger as the primary cause of the theory's faster rate of expansion. The network's transformation from a proof-of-work to a proof-of-stake consensus method was completed by the merge, and institutional investors' interest in the success of ETH liquid staking also aided in the theorem's adoption. This concludes our update on Altcoin Buzz News. I'm Cody Buffington, your host. Thanks for watching.